necessary. Oh, all right. Well, I know, hey, th there's a good thing, right, Nate, about these cooler temperatures that we're seeing. I know we all want 70s and 80s and, and <laughs> yeah. sunny, but I guess we're, we're helping out. Uh, Snow melt. It's helping right. out. Snow yeah, melt. there's just so much moisture still packed up and locked up in the mountains, and mm -hmm. so these cooler temperatures are going to help slow the flow. And here, fortunately, we're, you know, we've gotten pretty close to flood stage here yeah, on the Boise River. We're still hovering near there, but uh, the cooler temperatures should help uh, lessen some of the, the natural flow, and that should help ease some of the restrictions or some of the flow on the rivers as well. So, hey, gorgeous start to the day. So we want the sunshine. We're getting that this morning. Look how beautiful it is from Ontario. This is the Edge Performance Sports Camera down there, and yeah, it's a near cloud-free start to the day. It's gorgeous out there, but it's cold. Yeah, we've got temperatures Brian mentioned it. Uh, it's frigid this morning. 32 degrees in Cunan, Caldwell the same. 37 in Garden City, Parma 38 degrees. So definitely want the jackets, the coats this morning. Uh, very cold up in McCall, 24 degrees, 23 in Baker City. And the, with a little bit of a breeze, it puts most of us into the 20s. If not, it feels like we're in the teens in Mountain Home and Twin Falls. Uh, feels like we're 13 degrees up in uh, eastern Idaho for Idaho uh, Falls. 27 in Stanley, so no winds there this morning, which is good news, but yeah, it's certainly chilly out there. All right, a little bit of cloud cover this morning. Uh, it was rotating around a low pressure system that's moving in out of the Pacific Northwest, so we are actually going to see a little bit of moisture today. Some showers flare up over the central mountains of Idaho and parts of eastern Oregon. All of it rotating uh, around a large area of low pressure. We're getting little disturbances that are breaking away from the core of that uh, storm system. So we're going to see that dip as we head into tomorrow. It's going to bring in again a slight chance of some stormy weather for the mountain location. Some rain, snow showers, dry weather for the Treasure Valley, but breezy conditions. And again, with that northwest flow in place, cooler temperatures at least through midweek before we start to see that ridge of high pressure off the Pacific push uh, cold air off to the east of us. We'll see those temperatures moderate a little bit, but again, there's a chance of some moisture in the mountain areas today. Another weak disturbance moving in on Tuesday. Uh, it's going to keep a little bit of active weather going for the mountains. So your Treasure Valley extended forecast, just some breezy, if not windy conditions today. Tomorrow temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. We're going to see low 60s on Wednesday, upper 60s Thursday. Normal high is 66 degrees, so back in the 70s, folks, by the weekend. So a nice gradual warm-up, nothing too uh, significant. That's uh, after the nice cool-down we had over the weekend. So we're still dealing with those cold temperatures early this week. Mountains, uh, 42 today to 44 tomorrow. Back in the 50s, Thursday, Friday, should see temperatures right near 60 degrees again on Sunday. Again, a little bit of shower activity today and tomorrow as well. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you, Nate. 620 this morning, we'll get back outside.